Hey, what's up everyone? It's Zolbeck. Today, we are going to speak about what you kinda need to do when you open New World Aeternum, like uh, how to optimize your game, uh, even when you just not open it. Sometimes, you just open the game and you play and you don't kinda realize that there's some better settings. So I'm just gonna show a few kinda quick and easy setting to make everything easier for you. Maybe there's some other stuff, but this is more about just to optimize your gameplay to be better in PvP and whatever. So you see, when you go on game, the first one on the top right there, you can choose your language. I, I, it was on French on me because my Windows is on French, so you can change language right there for you. And then uh, whatever is there is not that much a big deal. Like you can adjust that to whatever you want. 22 for me is is good. Uh, what happened with the camera sensitivity? If you have a mouse and keyboard, you're gonna want a big mouse pad and put a low sensitivity. If you're gonna have a small mouse pad, you're gonna have to put a higher sensitivity just to be able to turn around. But uh, the better is the big mouse pad with a lower sensitivity. And for the the controller, uh, you're probably gonna have to put the low sensitivity, like a kind of high but not too high, and then just use the toggle to turn faster. You know. Like so, yes, you're gonna, you're not gonna really have to like uh, turn, do a fully rotation with the controller because you're gonna have the tab target probably. So the camera shake over there, you're gonna take that off because camera shake is never good in any game. Any game that you play, you're gonna always take that off. I'm gonna try to take that the smoothing off because uh, I don't need smoothing. You see what I mean, like. I can do the movement by myself. Alright. So the freeform camera, it, it was on off when I opened the game. You're gonna put this on on, it's gonna change everything into your setting just to uh, make it faster, alright? So uh, the camera direction, you keep it like this. So you see, when you put this setting on, for me it's keyboard and mouse, for you it's maybe controller. It's gonna make you attack into the direction you are kind of looking at. You see, I'm like facing and then I'm attacking into the direction I'm looking at. And it, it's the best uh, for melee because if you don't put this setting on, sometimes you're gonna waste some ability. And this is really bad, like a crucial ability, like a reap on the Great Axe. Like it's the, the thing that you have just to catch up to the dude and you waste it. It's bad. So this part is more for keyboard and mouse. You see there's a swap weapon, there's like one and two there. You take that off, both of them, and then you put swap weapon on one. So you only have one key to swap weapon instead of two. So, uh, so it saved you the key number two, and then the key number two, you can bind it on whatever you want, on consumable, whatever there. Or you can use it like uh, for your ultimate ability. Uh, you can put your ultimate ability on the click of the the, the thing too. But it, it's your choice. For me, the number two is a healing key, so I use it when I heal. And I have the three, four, and five because the five is not too far. I feel like six start to be far uh, far on the keyboard, so I don't want those to be there. But uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 are close enough to WASD, so you can use it. And then uh, my consumable there, it's on my mouse. Uh, but uh, yeah, it, it's your choice. You can put like 2, 3, 4, 5, and you're gonna be fine, alright? But So if you have a mouse with key on the side, then you can do whatever you want. What I'm gonna try right now is I'm gonna have one key that I'm gonna bind to drink the potion. And I'm gonna have one key that I bind for the toggle tab target. And then the other key, I'm gonna keep them just to heal, to be able to heal my group. But yeah, I just wasted one of my key on my mouse that I was using for healing. Now I'm gonna use it for the toggle tab target because I think... If I have a toggle on my mouse, it's going to be way better than having a toggle on my keyboard.